Football's not a matter of life and death. It's much more important than that. You haven't come home to watch football, have you? Of course I have. Brazil, Czechoslovakia, 40 past 11 tonight. 1970 revisited in Fair Game. Saturday week on BBC One. Well, that was a football-tastically gold-mongous evening. Now a sunny tale from Rob McKelvey. Hello. It's quite typical, isn't it, for the best day of a bank holiday weekend to be the very last one. Let's hope you've got a few more days in hand to enjoy the sunshine. But, of course, things have gone topsy-turvy in the best weather of the last three or four weeks. Up in the north, up in Scotland, particularly up in Orkney. Kirkwall, since records began, has not had a sunnier month. All the months of the year this is put together. 270 hours of sunshine in May, and that's probably something like 100 years' worth of records. But with all the sunshine, it has been very dry. I think probably too dry for most of the farmers. For Glasgow, for example, it's the second longest dry spell since they started recording, and that was in 1921. 34 days long, or 37 days long, about 1947. And then it's been pretty wet since. <laughs> 24 days of dry, though, continuous dry weather. Broken only early on Monday morning. Well, actually, the rain didn't reach Glasgow quite that early, but you'll see from the radar picture that it did start to come in in the morning, and it steadily moved south and east. There hasn't been that much rain. There have been quite a lot on the western side of the mountains, or a graphic uplift, for example, but really many places have probably just had an overcast day and a few spots of rain. But the story quite further south is, is quite a contrast. Sunshine almost from dawn until dusk. In fact, in some places, that's exactly what it was. No showers that I'm aware of, and, of course, fairly warm in places. We've got 20 in Hereford, 15 straight hours of sunshine in Anglesey, Lewick took the accolade of being the coolest place, not the wettest place. But as I said, it wasn't that wet a day. Only 13 millimetres, and that's about half an inch. So on to the forecast now. And it should be a fairly mild night for Scotland and Northern Ireland because of the fairly stiff winds and the cloud that's still there. A little cooler further south, but not as cool as we have had. But there's still a small chance of a ground frost somewhere in southern England or maybe the Welsh marshes. Now, the winds will not be a story, won't be a problem for England and Wales for the next... 24 hours, and even in the north, particularly the extreme north of Scotland, they'll tend to moderate, but they're still coming in from the west, and that's a far better direction than recently when they've been coming in from the northeast. The warmest weather, though, combined with the light winds, is going to be over England throughout tomorrow and probably the day after as well, before we see a bit of a breakdown of thundery weather. Now, that forecast is by no means certain. For Tuesday's weather, though, it's three strips, basically. The dull area across southern Scotland, the extreme north of England and northern Ireland, with a few spots of rain and drizzle in the wind. Much of Scotland, I think, on the east will be quite fine again, but on the west likely to be fairly cloudy and pretty windy, as I said, at least to start with. But England and Wales, a pretty nice start of the day, probably an almost cloud-free day. And another warm one was degrees, uh, two or three degrees up on today in some places, though 21 is likely to be uh, amongst the highest temperatures. Not so cold further north either, 15 to 17 degrees, oh, despite the wind, really. On Wednesday, you'll find the rain returning or becoming heavier in the west of Scotland and Northern Ireland, possibly moving into other parts of Scotland as well. But England and Wales is still in that warm frame of mind until later in the day. We might find showers moving into the southeast then. Equally, you'll find much of Northern Ireland and eastern Scotland tending to brighten up. On Thursday, the rain briefly hangs on in the southeast of England, and I think we also will find it staying in the western Scot west of Scotland. Otherwise, it's sunshine showers and pretty warm. How about 23, 73 Fahrenheit? That's it from me. Cheerio. What sort of irresponsible person would take the sweet voice and sliding guitar of Bonnie Raitt, two-time Grammy Award winner, New Orleans pianist, and one of my heroes, Dr. John? Legendary blues rock guitarist and ex-fabulous Thunderbird, Jimmy Vaughan. Mix in a big dollop of jar wobble, stick it on BBC television and turn up the volume. I would, but not now, later. Here on Saturday night on BBC Two. And that's it from BBC Two tonight. Don't forget, though, there's still lots happening on BBC Radio. Claire, Claire Sturgis even is on Radio One. Adrian Finnegan is just about to embark on Radio Two's Night Ride. And Tim Grundy is on the other side of midnight for Radio Five. Well, I hope you enjoyed Bank Holiday. BBC Two is, of course, back on air bright and early. But for now, this is Jane Westrock wishing you a very good night. Good night. <laughs>